did not expect such thing. It, it felt like, sitting in front of it, it felt like the sensation you get when they're drilling your teeth at the dentist. You know, that, that weird, like, you know something's vibrating in your mouth and it's terrible and it's going to kill you. Um, that kind of feeling. <laughs> and it's that kind of sound. And you can't feel it, but you can hear it, but kind of feel it inside. That's what that's about. That's, that's, that's what that was. <laughs> Today's going to be a little bit different. As some of you know, I do paint occasionally when I have time, which isn't a lot, but I do actually paint. I paint with one of these doohickeys. It's called an airbrush, those of you that don't know. Um, I have several. I also use brushes, but airbrush is what today's about. As you can see, this brush is pretty caked on dirty. That's uh, pretty gross. So I should clean it. Um, and I will clean it. Oh, look at the tip. Yikes. Um, uh, typically I clean it a lot better than what you're seeing right now, but I figured I would crack out something that I've had that's specifically been told to me to be incredibly valuable to clean things like that. That box. The ultrasonic cleaner. Yes, this is one of the many ultrasonic cleaners that Amazon sells because everything good comes from Amazon um, and uh, it's pretty generic um, I will put the link down below but we're gonna unpack this beast see what's inside set it up and then try cleaning this airbrush um, for those of you that uh, don't know so they can be dangerous if not treated correctly so you have to keep your eye on it. Don't use a lot of chemicals in it because it could be bad. What I'm going to do today is use some simple green, a little bit of simple green, and then uh, just straight up water. Um, that's what I've been told that will do this airbrush well. So we're going to get this unpacked and see what it, how it works and, and what it looks like and all the cool stuff. Well, there it is. It's the doesn't have any brand. I'm pretty sure all these are made by like one company or a couple. But um, I'll, again, link down below. Digital ultrasonic cleaner. It's got temperature and time separate and you can set them individually, which is useful. It comes with a nifty basket with feet, which is nice, I thought. Um, power cord, of course. But the basket could actually be useful it's pretty deep it's not bad and then this fine very medical style or cafeteria style lid here let me turn this around it's got some nice handles so it's pretty slick so far there's your model number for those at home that are eager to buy one maybe we'll see by the end of the video and uh, yeah we're gonna get some water in this thing Simple green, and then we're gonna look at the airbrush one more time because I need to take this apart, which is always fun. I have not had great luck with taking these apart and getting them back together to the right way, but this will be next. Hold on a sec. pieces. Uh, I took the tip off because it's a different kind of metal so it might uh, not make it through the process so we want to be careful. And But everything else is here. This is all going to go in said thing. There's, let me get a good shot of this, there's the cup for the paint. It's not the best. As you can see there's paint even on my needle. There's paint in the cup at the bottom. I think you can see that hopefully. And then yeah the needle is I've cleaned this many a time, seriously, and not so much. Doesn't look like it. Anyway, so, oh, and then, the, yeah, this thing is caked. Caked. So, I'm going to get some water. I'm going to put these things inside airbrush, or in, <laughs> inside the airbrush, inside the cleaner. Um, water, simple green, and then 
it should be around 150 degrees if you've got one that's got a temperature thing. Uh, anywhere between 140, 180 is what I've been told. This is my brand new time, so if I melt this thing, it's because I don't know what I'm doing. As usual, everything I do, I have no idea what I'm doing. So that's neat. I just plugged it in and that's what came up by default. Five minutes, 25 degrees Celsius. Interesting. Well, sure. We'll try that. We'll see what happens. Got the water in. I'm going to go get some simple green and then we'll be all set to throw these things in there. So obviously some of the pieces will fall through the little basket, but I think that'll be okay. It's not the end of the universe. All right. Well, so that's how much simple green. It's straight simple green. So I'm not going to put a lot in. I'm just going to move a little over the top here. There we go. Hopefully this thing doesn't explode. I've heard horror stories about these things exploding. But we'll start putting our parts in and we'll be uh, right back for the big moment. So I boosted the Celsius um, to be more in the range that I'd read about. And we're going to leave this at five minutes because I have no real good idea of how long it'll take. So we're just going to try it and see. I've seen a bunch of people online that did it for what, four minutes, three minutes at a time to see what happens. And, and they had to basically do it three times. So let's start at five minutes and, and see what happens. Uh... Whoa, that's a terrible noise. Wow, that's a horrid noise. My whole body was vibrating. Do you guys feel that? Whoa, yikes. The whole body is, feels terrible, like death. This isn't good. Oh, yikes. Eek, eek. Okay, <laughs> I stopped it uh, because the DJI, the, the camera I'm using, the pocket, is literally vibrating in my hand. And I'm a little bit worried about it being this close. Honestly, I, it's, I haven't felt, I can feel my hand vibrating. I feel the whole DJI is like, zzz, like really finely. So I'm going to turn it on and walk away and see what it's like. So I'm going to put the lid back on too, because that's insane. So lid back on. We're going to push this button and then run for the hills. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Wow. So DJI is still vibrating. There we go. I'm about this far. Oh, it's still vibrating. Holy cow. That's some serious... Oh, phone. Oops. Anyway, I'm going to, like, step further away. <laughs> that thing's crazy town. Wow. Wow. Did not expect that much weirdness. Okay. Well, I'm going to go get my phone, and we'll be back in five minutes. Um, yeah, that was weird. I did not expect such thing. It, it felt like, sitting in front of it, it felt like the sensation you get when they're drilling your teeth at the dentist. You know, that, that weird, like, you know something's vibrating in your mouth, and it's terrible, and it's going to kill you. Um, that kind of feeling. <laughs> and it's that kind of sound, and you can't feel it, but you can hear it but kind of feel it inside. That's what that's about. That's, that's, that's what that was. So, um, it's obviously not getting up to temperature cause it's still trying to get up there when I left the room. Um, but, uh, I'm not sure that'll be the end of the world. I just want to see what happens after five minutes and see if that thing's clean or not. Right. That's the whole point. Um, oh, my teeth kind of hurt. It's just weird sensation. I don't remember reading anywhere warnings step away from machines so um we'll go back in here i can still hear it going see when you guys hear that tick tock tick tock see that this is a good safe distance <laughs> wow that's kind of crazy crazy Ooh, it's done. All right, well, let's see what kind of damage have we done here. Oh, it's cloudy. It is cloudy. And yes, don't get simple green on your hands. Um, I don't see a lot of difference. The water's cold, so maybe I should just let it warm up for a bit. 
No, that's not. It's not really clean, huh? Didn't really do anything. I could get this out of the sink. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. We'll just leave this going for a bit. Well, first I'm I'm gonna heat it up and see that may be the big difference. So let's do that. It's still going, and it's been like two hours. It does take a long time to heat up. So if you do get this ultrasonic cleaner, I would strongly encourage you to put warm water because I didn't I used water that I have out here, which is probably pretty cold. So use warm water to get yourself halfway there. So we're gonna try this again. There's all our parts. And we're gonna open this little guy up. Ooh, it's a little warm. Hey. We'll see how this goes. I'm a little afraid, just because I'm afraid. Um I don't want my fillings to drop out of my teeth because that's what I felt like last time. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. ah! So when I moved the parts around in that bin, it didn't make such an obnoxious noise. However, the DJ Osmo is still feeling it a little bit. But um, it's um, once I moved the parts around, it wasn't too bad. I took some of the smaller parts out of the vat and I took the basket out. My theory here was that it maybe do better on the stuff that had the kicked on paint if it was right on the, the vibration mechanism. But I'm not sure I was right as <laughs> I don't see a lot of paint in the water, but um, we'll see what happens. The water is quite toasty. It did actually on this got even though I set it to 58 it went to 60 so I shut it off not knowing what was going on but um yeah it's not bad let's uh let's take it out of there and we'll see what it looks like so here's all the other parts they look pretty good well maybe not I can't tell I don't know if you guys can see that deep But I mean, these guys weren't that dirty to begin with, right? Um, anyway, let's move these out of the way. Oh, the one part that was deep we know, or dirty was this. Eh? It's not as bad. I bet I can wipe that paint right off. We'll see. And then the needle. A little bit better. I bet if I ran this for like another 10 minutes, it'd probably be a lot better. I don't know. And then here's the cup. Ooh, the outside of the cup is shiny. Just a couple Mars. On the inside, it's not bad either. Look at that. Look away down in there. That's actually pretty good. I attribute that to me putting it straight against the the wall and out of the basket. Because I, I, I'm smart. Um, yeah, that's not... There's some gunk on the threads here. But, um, not a lot. It's actually pretty good. I think we will run this again really quickly and just try to get these last little bits on that. The needle. This little guy. I think that's it. Everything else is looking pretty good. Look at that guy. Kind of concerning. This keeps going up. This is the set temperature, but this keeps climbing, and this is off. Um, see if that makes it go down. Boy, that's scary. Here's what it looks like inside. The camera is really freaking out right now. Just FYI, everybody. Really freaking out. DJI Pocket, it felt like it was vibrating at the same frequency and it was really weird. And this is 64 degrees Celsius because it would not stop heating. I don't know why it wouldn't stop heating. I did not have the heater on, nor did I have it set that high. So let's just get these things. Ow, ow, ow. And one more. Phew! <laughs> Wow. Okay. So it's certainly 
concerning about heat. A little concerned about the heat. I mean, this is my first use. You could, it's like unboxed, right? I didn't do anything to it. All right. Well, let's just shut that up. I've unplugged it and everything. Here we go. Let's look at this thing. Oh, yep. Look at that. It's all shiny. It's got a little bit marring on it, but I think it's just water. Yeah. So as a recommendation that you put these straight on the plate or straight in the vat, don't use the little basket because I really think that's what, <laughs> when I change them into the, directly into the vat halfway through, it made a huge difference in just these few minutes I've been running this. It's already pretty good. Boom. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I don't know if you can see all the way down there in the bottom, but. That was pretty nasty. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Okay. So, note to self, don't use the basket for this. And then here's the needle. It's not bad. A lot of water. A lot that is all water. That is sparkly clean. Needle clean. Wow. So, that's pretty great. I would say other than the heating mechanism, which is a little concerning. i um, not sure what to read that. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. Anyway, but the cleaning. One, don't use the basket for your airbrush, apparently. Two, heat the water ahead of time. Um, and keep an eye on the heater. And three, it actually works. I would strongly recommend. I didn't know for sure. I don't know if this was just a thing. Um, I'm going to try some paint stripping next time and see if it's easier or harder than this, but I certainly would recommend this is pretty awesome. Um, it was really clean. I couldn't even scratch some of that paint off in that cup. I mean, it's really, it's really, it's really good. I mean, it looks brand new, like brand new. So now I figure out how to put it together. Uh, 